We have been doing the same thing for 45 years. Now we're going to do something a little bit different. No, no. <laughs> this place changes and changes and grows and grows. When I first came here in 1965, and I was about 27 years old, I got a little shrub and I planted it, and then it started to grow and I brought it over here. So we're all here to meet the Course leaders. God is being itself. I am who I am. Bread, light, good shepherd. Some of the wisdom that religious communities have to offer, God chucks the starting line just where we are. Each person here is a special kind of artist. What we provide is recreation within a community of support. Immersing ourselves in not just water as a symbol, but also as an actual substance. The safety of Jesus being both gate and enclosure, going through the gate, moving from one thing to another. I feel like there's like a, a real openness about coming here. We, we can't define the vision of this place only in terms of the church. It must be in terms of the world as well. We all think of it as our place. During uh, bluegrass, they all say that Sorrento was their place. And so are the Quakers and so are the Pentecostals. One of the wood carvers came up to tell me how much they appreciated the use of Sorrento Center. Which is why they're helping to build more classrooms. Those places uh, transition. So instead of seeing traditional and contemporary as opposites, they're part of the same process by which <coughs> we develop tradition. And that's sort of the uh, philosophy we've taken here at Sorrento. Try to be true to the tradition of the wider church and of this place, but to discern that new directions that might shape us for the future. If there are any musicians, please come and talk to you. We'd like to uh, start an orchestra for this week. I think there's someone who's coming with a harp as well. It's going to be a harp. like a, a type of harp. Cool. Do you want to meet after this or after? Ah. People are looking for circles of trust and support. You guys want to join the circle? Keeping the circle open so that it's never closed. Because then there's not room for the prism of the other. We are not strangers in a closed off world. The more we allow ourselves to try for expression, the deeper the world opens before us. What has the life of Sorrento been characterized by? The sense of experiments, searching for forms of community. When Jesus says, I am bread, Food is what people have in common. Oh, look at that! That's so cool! Oh, that's great. People feed one another constantly. <laughs> I remember when my mother died and I was so disconsolate, just putting my hand up and saying, God, take my hand because I trust in you and it's only with your help I can get through this all the time. Trust in the religious things. I forget to trust in when I'm looking at this credit card bill or worrying about my system. I think talking about things is so helpful. It actually seems to minimize the problem. The part of healing is telling the story, but if it gets pushed down, it, it actually controls us. What you resist runs you. The only way out is through. And in the shepherds we've known in our lives. God I know with my son, the first year he was on, he was not that involved. But the second year, he was incredibly involved. And then by the third year, he was really a leader. I know that he will be strong in a parish in the future. Probably in home. And yeah, he goes beyond the church too. Yeah. How many people? I also have it there that never get that called out of them when you see it being called out of people here. So. That's what I think. Yeah. was here that my view of religion changed. It was exciting. And now I actually like going to church. What, I, what I've seen in these weeks is incredible. This happened to me. Eight in the morning, breakfast is cooking. We're all in this together. You come here and you can be yourself and you're going to make friends and you get to grow from that out here. Yeah. It's just, it's amazing to see them, um, even as the week goes on, with change that takes place, you can just see it.
my life has moved sort of from having mentors to being a mentor. I still need God. Your program runs from 10 to 12.15 with a coffee break about 11 o'clock. If you're at a point where you want to stop and it's 10.45, they'll be ready. And so Nuns 101, like anything you might want to know. Yeah, I was just curious. Sure. So. Sometimes folks try to work with something that doesn't work for them. And to find something else, sometimes they need to know what the options are. Some very unusual descriptions of healthy spirituality. It's not kind of the, the four square ways you might find in a prayer book. And close off with the Teach Me to Dance. Teach, teach Me, me to, to Dance to the, to the Beat of Your Heart. We're going to honor our own voice. May the beauty of the playing orca be yours. It is a moment of light, fragrant and free. A bouquet of daisies. We're helping to bring out the best in each other. Wish rocks. So I'll wire it and put a couple of beads on the end. <laughs> so it's all good. That's the good news here. And start reflecting on it you know what a gentle week like this might have to offer the next week that's mm -hmm. coming the next mm -hmm. plane trip to somewhere around the world Sorrento Center is even the business of alternate forms of worship mm -hmm. the source of creativity that strengthens Nurtures and truth. The center has a mission to the world to allow them to glimpse the spirit filled community. A monastery, as it practiced hospitality, communicated to the pilgrims that the life of the monk, the worship of the life of the monastery went on, irrespective of whether they wanted to come to it or not. But if, it, if you have people who can can lead you into the process and set free your creative juices. Yes. Then you got something. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. conglomeration of individual spiritual journeys. Not only what does each generation need, and what challenges do they need, what about the wider tradition or from other generations can challenge each particular generation. And I see both the attentiveness to the individual journey and the need to challenge the individualism and maybe to provide some connectedness. sounded a little arrogant to me at first. I am the one I'm Heather. Jesus loves. I am Tracy. If John was asked, what is your primary identity in life? Sarah. He replied, I'm John. I'm the one Jesus loves. I'm Peter. John knows about reminding us who we really are. I'm Jen. By reminding us, I'm Rachel. First and foremost, I'm Patrick. Of who God really is. The Good Shepherd himself embraces them. Yes, you are the one, the very one I had in mind. Love isn't something we have to generate, it's something in which we get caught up.
Generation X people don't say, what's the meaning of life? They say, will you be there for me? That's okay, but what they have to learn from the church is, we can be there for each other. We stand in a circle, and we simply lay hands on each other's shoulders and pray silently. Have you done that before? It was kind of very mind-expanding. It caught me by surprise. Do you really dance to the beat of your heart? I think it's part of what builds the way that you're a part of the community and then you go out from the community. So every time I come to Sorrento, I always come and kind of hug my tree because I'm planning it when it was only that big. 